Welcome back. For health-conscious parents, their kids' school lunchbox can be a store of possibilities. Now, today we take you through a few hassle-free meals. And here to help us with some baon guides and after-school snack ideas are Troy Barrios, the managing editor of Food Magazine, and Chef Jamie Natividad. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, this sounds like a, this is going to be a segment I'm going to enjoy. All right, we're talking about uh, kids' baon. Uh, and, and we were reminiscing about our favorite memories of school, actually, earlier in the start of the show. And... One of my memories, I don't know, it's one of my favorite memories was my baon. I, de I never had a cool lunchbox mm -hmm. and I never had like a, a container that never leaked the contents. <laughs> but things have changed nowadays. Baon is, is so much yummier. There's so many other ideas and there's so many great ways to pack baon. I mean, where do we start? Let's start with what goes into an ideal uh, right. lunch for kids. Okay. Uh, ideally, parents want kids to have <laughs> healthy mm -hmm. lunches. Yeah. They have to be... Well, hopefully easy to prepare, fast, mm -hmm. and something the kids will eat. Right. <laughs> Those are all very, uh -huh. I know for a fact, <laughs> I know for a fact how difficult it is actually to find things that one, your kids are, are, are going to eat, are going to eat <laughs> and two, uh, easy to prepare, don't yes. usually, th those those elements just don't usually go together. I mean, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. uh, but th but today I think we've got a selection of things that proves that, yeah, e uh, easy to prepare, healthy for your kids, yes. uh, can all actually be something that can be all rolled into one. Now, okay. Chef uh, Jamie yes. here's got some ideas for us. We have some pasta that are very easy to make. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a basic tomato sauce with penne okay. and some cheese. All right. And then we have the meatballs, mm -hmm. which I use chicken so that it'll be healthy and I bake them instead of frying them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, olive oil based pasta sauce. Okay, this is garlic. Pasta is, yeah. pasta is uh, a great, easy to eat food. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, for me, easy to eat means you don't need a spoon and a fork <laughs> to eat it. Um, but kids love pasta. Um, is there any particular um, uh, timpla that, that kids like? Uh, usually, is it true that kids prefer a slightly sweeter uh, type of sauce or mix? Is that something that we should be no, considering? No, that's very Filipino, actually. Okay. Uh -huh. But you adjust uh, the, the recipes to your taste. Mm -hmm so that the kids will eat it and enjoy it. Okay, so I mean, oh, definitely uh, assuming you use you know, fresh ingredients and you're, you're, you're picky about what mm -hmm. goes into your pasta, it can really be as healthy as, as you want it to be. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Pasta, pasta is healthy naman by, by nature, right? Mm -hmm. yes, it's it just is. a matter of what you put on it. The yeah, less oh. bloat factor than oh, rice. Than uh, rice. And, oh. kids, and kids love eating pasta. Yes. I mean, it's, it's an easy, easy to prepare and easy to eat. Yes. Uh, uh, meal and like you said, if you make uh, smart decisions, like you uh -huh. said, you've got some chicken, uh, chicken ball. balls, yep. uh, chicken uh -huh. meatballs over that here baked. Um, that you've baked rather than yes. fried. You can actually make more healthy uh, decisions uh -huh. in terms of how you actually prepare yes. uh, uh -huh. some of these dishes. Okay, pasta, absolutely fun and easy to eat. Yes. Uh, kids, kids <laughs> are gonna, kids are gonna love it. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the other ideas that you have? Uh, well, in Working Mall magazine, mm -hmm. they came out with a feature on. Uh, Instant baon. You just okay. buy it from the grocery okay. and put it in your lunchbox. All right. Uh, uh, what are some of those ideas? I mean, are, are chips still a good idea? Are, are crackers a good idea? Definitely. We, we need to have some of the bad stuff. Still. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a healthy balance is what, for, for me, a healthy balance is what makes a, a lunch good. I mean, yeah, you can have a few chips in there with a nice healthy Juice, sandwich or a nice healthy want, yes. pasta. Um, and again, you, you, you want it to be easy to prepare and easy to pack, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, um, what are some of the features that we've got in the magazine here? Uh, some of the other ideas in terms of uh, kids' favorite stuff. I mean, uh, you've got uh, have the hot dogs. Hot dogs aren't yes. a bad idea, but mix in some mix uh, in some fruit, fruit. and nuts. Uh, and yeah, cookies. roasted peanuts, mm -hmm. bana uh, fruit, bananas, milk. Okay. Uh -huh. Obviously, parents know will know best what sort of food their kids like. Um, my kids are finally just starting to eat fruit. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're, they're still kind of picky as to what, what sort of fruit they do like. But uh -huh. uh, as a parent, uh, you know, you do you, you choose which which fruits your kids will actually enjoy. And you want to make sure that it's something uh -huh. that they'll actually eat yes. in and I, school. And if you expose them to more food when they're young, uh -huh. I think that broadens their palate. Right. So they're more open to eating. To, uh, to trying, to trying, stuff. To trying yes. different uh -huh. things. All right. And ba making baon and packing a lunch is, is for me, certainly uh, a better way to keep track of what your kids are eating rather than giving them the money, money. Yep. to yes. buy food uh -huh. uh, at the cafeteria. I mean, obviously, they're going to make their own choices. They're going to buy the things that they want to buy. <laughs> like Chef said, there's nothing wrong with a few chips here and there, 
but if you leave it up to them, they'll eat chips the whole day, every day, all the time, right? Usually <laughs> buy toys with my baon, right? You, or, or you buy toys with your baon, right, right, right. I remember that too. Okay, now one of the one of the things that uh, uh, one of the memories that I have of of my you know grade school years, elementary okay. years, was not having a cool lunchbox or not having okay. a container that didn't leak. All right, uh, there 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 are a lot of options now. You've got okay. uh, you've got uh, obviously uh, leak-proof Tupperware containers. Yes, uh, they're nice. You can they don't spill. They don't yes, spill. yes, that these is are such, microwave that safe. That is such a plus. Microwave safe. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, some things to consider when parents look for uh, containers or baunans mm -hmm. is uh, be, be concerned that it's BPA free. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is something you don't wanna you don't wanna reuse uh, containers. Does it uh, may cause cancer? It does. Yes. It, it, it may cause cancer. Okay. Uh, BPA free and uh, the the size and shape actually also plays a role in in. Uh, yes whether or not your kids are gonna uh -huh. make the most of their lunches. Uh, apparently, shallower and flatter containers are better, uh, are better for are kids. Better. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't have to dig too deep in, into uh -huh. them to get yes. the contents. And um, you don't want to pack too much into uh, a lunchbox because well, the weight can also be a, a problem yes, for kids. I mean, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna overload your kids mm -hmm. with heavy, yeah. uh, heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have their books to carry. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah. got their books to carry already. And, uh, in terms of, well, some, some people like to eat with their hands, some people like to eat with a spoon and fork, some people like to eat with chopsticks, maybe. The spork, um, remember? The spork, or the spork, <laughs> the combination uh, mm. spoon, spoon and fork. And fork. That goes uh, with, um, what they call it? Uh, the thermos. The thermos. Yeah, thermos yeah, yeah. or the uh, uh, zojushi like, yep. uh, <laughs> containers. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's insulated, actually. That's insulated, oh. absolutely. But you can look for uh, utensil containers, okay, uh -huh. that, that uh, keeps the utensils clean. Okay, yes. usually uh -huh. the food goes into these little containers. Yeah, okay, they're clean in there. Mm -hmm. But then the utensils that your kids are going to use are probably rattling around their bag, along with all the other junk in their bag, right? Uh, in terms of the actual content of the food or uh, content of the lunchbox, um, you should be concerned about the the baon as a whole. I mean, the the mixing and matching yes. of. Uh -oh. Of food, right? Yes. Definitely. Uh -oh. Okay. You don't Definitely. want to serve them um, uh, food that's easy to spoil. Okay. Because it's are, gonna wait there for a while. It's true. I mean, you, you generally you prepare the baon in the morning, yes. and then they don't get to it till lunchtime. Yes. Uh, what are some of the uh, recipes or ingredients that are sort of things that you should be concerned about? Uh -huh. I know tomato sauce uh -huh. can be sometimes a concern. Is that true, chef? Or? No, as long as because it has acid. Okay, so, so it's it's just in the way it's, it's handled. Uh -huh. You just have to make sure that yep. uh, what what will keep food generally from from spoiling. What about the old um, adage that you know if, if you prepare food and then it's still hot. If you cover it, it sweats, and then that automatically means, oh, the food's gonna spoil in a very short time. Is that true? Definitely cream-based ones. Mm. Okay. Yes. So that is that is uh, yes. something to be concerned about. Definitely, mom should practice uh, food uh, handling properly. Okay. Uh, what, are, what are some of the what are some quick and easy tips when you say uh, food handling and, and food safety? What what are some of the things to, you should watch out for? Like we like already mentioned, the basic misnomers at home, mm -hmm. which everyone practices, mm -hmm. uh -huh. is putting chicken, raw chicken, in the fridge and then letting the blood drip all over the place okay. with all the, where all the food is. Okay, big no no. <laughs> yes, don't, salmonella. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but in terms of keeping food fresh, I mean, food that you pack for your kids and then keeping it fresh, uh, are, are insulated uh, lunch boxes uh, the best way to ensure that that doesn't happen? Or yes. should yes. the food Definitely. be kept yes. cold? Should you put like a cold pack in there? Uh -huh. Uh, the insulating bags that you can buy right now can mm -hmm. keep them hot or cold. Hot or cold. Depending okay. on what the food, the right temperature the food needs to be. Okay, uh -huh. so food at room temperature will not necessarily always spoil. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, but but there are there are there are uh, ways and means nowadays to keep food hot or cold for a longer period of yes. time. Okay, uh -huh. you've got the insulated bags, you've got those cold packs. Mm -hmm. uh, like a chef over here said, some of these uh, or many of these containers are actually microwave uh, safe. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if your kids can ask their teacher if they can make pakigam at the, uh, the microwave uh, in, the office, right? in the office or something, uh -huh. they can actually have a nice hot yeah. meal in uh -huh. school. Okay, so I think, yeah, uh, lunchbox, uh, quick notes to remember, has to be easy to repair, you gotta make sure it's healthy, and of course that the, uh, the quality is gonna be maintained even after, you know, it's been sitting there forever because that's mm -hmm. what happens when you prepare the lunch in advance yeah all right cool okay. so many so many options this is one of my favorite options right here <laughs> chocolate pretzels thanks so much for giving us the ideas i know i'll be using some of them for my kids bound school starts next week yes thanks <laughs> thank so much you. for joining us thank you uh, and thanks for all these great ideas